morning, Kids Church kids and families. I'm glad to see you guys this morning. Okay, last week we talked about the Beatitudes, which was the first sermon that Jesus preached when he started his ministry. Today, we're going to be reading the rest of that sermon, what comes right after the Beatitudes. So before we do that, I have a couple of supplies that you all can get for our lesson today. One of them is a Bible. The rest of the supplies are for an art project that we're going to do. So if you have them, you can do the project with us today. If you don't, you can pick them up and do it later this week, but it's a really fun project. So what you're gonna need is paper or cardstock, some Elmer's glue, some table salt, and then some watercolor paints. So grab those supplies, go through the questions that are gonna come up next together as a family, and then we'll get started on our lesson. Okay, so salt is pretty important in our life. Um, salt goes in a lot of food, and it doesn't just go on salty food. Salt goes in just about everything. Salt even goes in cookies. My kids know. We always put a pinch of salt in anything sweet that we make because the saltiness brings out the flavor in an amazing way. Just a little bit of salt can go a really long way in what you're cooking to bring out flavor, to make things taste sweeter and more delicious. Um, salt is also used to heal things. If you've ever had like a cut or uh, maybe a, something in your mouth that hurts, um, a sore throat, sometimes they'll tell you to gargle salt water because it will help it heal. So right after the Beatitudes, Jesus preaches a sermon about salt. So we're going to jump right into our Spark Storybook Bible and read about salt and light. When Jesus spoke from the mountainside, he always had important things to say. One story Jesus told as he was teaching from a mountain was about how we are like salt and light. Jesus said, you can be like salt to the rest of the world. The people were a bit confused. Us, like salt, they asked. Jesus continued, salt is important. It keeps food from going bad and it makes it taste better too. Just a few specks of salt may not seem like much, but it makes a big difference to the food we eat. You may feel small, like a tiny speck of salt, but you are important. What you do makes a difference in the world. The people began to understand. You can be like light to the rest of the world too. The people were curious to hear how Jesus would explain this. Even a small lamp can light up a big room, Jesus said. Even though you are just one person, what you do and say changes the world around you. You shouldn't hide the bright light that you are. Show the love you have for God all day and every day. Then Jesus said, God gave the Israelites special rules and leaders to help you all live God's way so that you can be like salt and light to the world. I came to help you follow the rules so that you are living in the way God wants you to live. I want you to teach others to live God's way too. This makes God happy. The people nodded, understanding what Jesus had to say, and excited to make a difference in the world. need of some salt and some light. There are a lot of hard things that we're going through. There are a lot of people who are lonely, who are maybe scared, who are sad, and they need the love of Christ in their life. So that's the challenge to us this week is to figure out how can we be salt in the world, right? How can we bring flavor to the lives of people around us? Um, those little things can go a really, really long way. Just like that little speck of salt does an amazing thing to make the dish taste phenomenal. How can we be light in the world? How can we shine God's love and God's truth into dark, dark places? So that's my challenge to you guys this week as a family and as individuals to bring goodness into the world around us. 
Before we close in prayer today, we're going to jump into a quick art project. My kids are going to show you guys how to do it. And during this art project, we are going to take salt and we're not going to make it taste good, but we're going to use salt to make something beautiful. So let's check this out. made a salt painting today or you make one later this week I would love to see it so you can post it in our Facebook group or you could send me an email or a text with your picture I would love to see them and to share them with our community all right friends let's close in prayer this morning dear God where there is darkness help us to bring light where there is blandness help us to bring salt where there is need, help us to bring good things. Where there are kids and grown-ups, help us to bring the love of Jesus. Amen. Amen, friends. I sure miss you guys. I hope that you have a great week, and I hope to talk to you very soon. Bye, everybody.